Atlanta Street interview. Yeah. It's better than the news. My boy. Atlanta Street interview. Yeah. You get abused and it ain't no rules. Marcus was the one who did the interview. Who fucked all his interviewees on his interview? Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Psychology Eats. So what's eating you? Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I hope this video finds you in great mental health. I hope you're doing well this Memorial Day weekend. Shout out to all the vets. Special shout out to my uncle, who served in the Vietnam War when he was only 19 years old and lost his life in Vietnam. Shout out to you, Unc. Um, mm. So anyway, here I go. I'm back in the street sector. Just know I'm always going to scoot back over here and look around, see what's going down. You know, be nosy. So I went over there to see what mucus was up to because, you know, I stays in it. I stays in mucus's business. So, the last video had dropped. I thought it was interesting. Um, he was talking to a man that I will put on the screen. And so, the guy is actively in his addiction. He uses crack cocaine. And he has some trauma, you know. Like a lot of people who end up on drugs... They may experience some childhood trauma or some other trauma, or maybe they didn't. Maybe they just, you know, started using drugs recreationally, and then it turned into an addiction. Not all addiction comes from trauma. Um, so, anywho, so Marcus, you know, being Marcus, you know, of course, for the men, he doesn't get too sexual with them. You know, he doesn't explore in detail that I've heard there um, any type of sexual trauma and so the man goes into telling um, mucus all about when he was selling his ass to get money for drugs and mucus was mucus was shocked mucus was shocked at first mucus thought he was selling his ass to women <laughs> and then the guy was like, no, no, no. I was selling my ass to the men's. And that's what Mucus was like, Ugh. right? So he didn't get go into detail. Did you like it? How did it feel? When did you start? Like, he didn't, he didn't get on. He was like, oh, shit. But the guy was like, oh, no, 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 no. You, you, want, you in my business now. You in my business now. As a matter of fact, I'm going to need another 10 because I'm about to go in. I, he ain't say that. Y'all making that up. So anyway, so then the guy, as he's telling Mucus the story, Mucus is like, damn, I thought you was about to start talking about bitches. Then the guy was like, yeah, I'm HIV positive. Mucus act like he was shocked. I don't, Mucus. You know you you where you live in Atlanta. Atlanta is leading in the number for HIV positive folks who are not in the LGBTQ community. So the heterosexuals, right? And so the guy was like, "Yeah, I'm HIV positive." And Mucus was like, "Oh my god." So immediately Mucus was like, "Well, I'm safe." Because he's gay, or he's having sex with men, and so that I, you know, I could, I'm reading Mucus's mind. I'm reading his mind, right? The guy was like, "Oh hell no, I got this from a lady. I got my HIV oh my from a God. lady." So then Mucus was like, "Oh, huh? What? What? Ha what happened from a lady?" Now all of a sudden, Mucus, his. <laughs> Mucus ain't want to go no further in the conversation. He ain't want to go no further in the conversation. Mucus is like, I only want to talk about this shit. Much pussy as I've been getting out here in these streets, I don't even want to talk about it. Mucus is like, all right, then, dude. Well, it was nice meeting you. Um, Yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye. 
And with that, I'm going to say bye to everyone. Oh, oh. I'm still laughing about it because it was funny. Anywho, HIV is not funny. If you are, you know, at risk for getting HIV, please go see your local provider um, so that you can get treatment. People are living a long life with HIV when they take care of themselves and when they take their medicine. But the best prevention is not to be in the um not, not to be um out here talking about um um condom sex is mid protect yourself y'all see it anyway and my why is Atlanta often called the epicenter of the HIV epidemic in the U S Despite advances in treatment, Atlanta faces an alarming rate of HIV infections. With rates higher than some countries in Sub-Saharan Africa, what's driving this epidemic? Stigma, lack of education, and access to healthcare are fueling the crisis. But hope is on the horizon with community efforts and medical breakthroughs. Together, we can turn the tide against HIV in Atlanta. Stay informed, get tested, and spread awareness, not the virus.